When New York City Mayor Doomberg finally had enough, he did what should have been done at the very start of the Occupy Wall Street offensive. He ordered police to remove the vermin, the human debris, from Zuccotti Park. For almost two months, the residents near the park have put up with incessant drumming, hooliganism, and as the protest wore on, the filthy, unsanitary conditions that were allowed to fester inside the anti-capitalist shantytown. Business owners endured all sorts of abuses, from the leftist hippie wannabes relieving themselves at their doorsteps to increased threats, vandalism, and violence. Meanwhile, the rights of those who follow the rules who contribute to society by working and living within the norms, were ignored in favor of a bunch of useless complainers who couldn't even coherently articulate their grievances, let alone their agenda. In city after city, these squatter liberals have protested, fought with law enforcement, slithered around in their own emissions, exhausted the patience of local government entities, and accomplished nothing. The Occupy protesters are perfect liberals. Human bloodsuckers living off the earnings of others, whining about their pitiful circumstances while attacking those in society who are living productive lives and working to make ends meet. These occupiers crave the spotlight, not for their accomplishments, but for their stunning lack of them. Shame on Bloomberg for allowing two months to pass by before he shut this nonsense down.